Hi everyone, in this video we will solve an algebra problem which is based on maxima and minima. The problem is given as we have to find the smallest possible value of this whole expression. Now this expression is 3a square plus 27b square plus 5c square minus 18ab minus 30c plus 237. Now let's rewrite this as 3a square plus 27b square. Now a and b terms are there so let's put this term here minus 18ab plus 5c square minus 30c plus 237. So in most of the problems to solve such questions on maxima minima you will try to complete the square. So this is the method usually that we follow in quad in finding the maxima and minima for quadratic expressions. Now what does complete the square means? So we have to we will try to find we will try to form a complete square from these expressions. So how can we find? So let's say can we form a complete square from these three? So let's try. If I take three common, so I will get a square plus nine b square minus six ab, right? Now from here, if I take five common, then c square minus six c. Now to complete this square, I would need c minus three whole square. This can be written as two into three into c. So I can form a square on three. So I would need 9 here. Now since I have taken 9 here, so there would be less remaining area, right? So 9 into 5, 45. So here the remaining would be 237 minus 45. That would be 192. If you subtract 45 from this, then you will get 192. Now I can rewrite this whole as 3a minus 3b whole square plus 5c minus 3 whole square plus 192. 192. Now this whole expression is reduced to this one. Now we have to find the minimum possible value of this whole expression. Now this is quite easy, right? Because we know that for all the quadrant all the perfect squares the minimum possible value that it can hold is 0 so this will be 0 this will be 0 we are remained with 192 so our answer would be 192 this is our answer so i hope you got this this was an easy question but it may seem slightly confusing at the start but you if you follow this strategy by to try to form a complete square in the expressions then you will solve this easily now this is a standard pattern i would say you will find many such questions on based on this pattern only where, where you will have to find the maximum or minima involving quadratic expressions so that's why this is important completing the square Okay, let's meet in some other video we will solve some more questions thank you